And welcome back. It's Kotao again uh, for another War of Rights for this Sunday. We've got the second map for this Historical Rules event, and I am once more joined by two great guest commentators. First one, Mr. Engel. How are you, sir? Uh, I am I'm doing pretty good. After seeing the hot and heavy action on the first map, I'm ready for some more bloodshed. You know, more blood for the blood god. Indeed, indeed. And also, Mr. Liam. How are you, good sir? I'm doing fine. That's that first round. Uh, a lot of stuff gone through my head, but uh, just ready to watch from the sky and see who gets nailed by artillery and who gets caught out. Yep, and we got a contention here, and it is, let's see, a limestone bridge. Server pop right now is 310, 157 on the CSA, 152 on the Union, and since we have a bit of a way to go for both of them, I'll kind of, I'll kind of be able to do a uh, quick overview. So we've got on already Tomato Girl from Two Core and Surflex from LFL and Fort Georgia here under Corporal Anton and a Sergeant Liam from Fort Georgia. Is that no no relation or relation? Uh, no, that is yep. Yeah, uh, me and him kinda. I mean, before I switched my name to my real name, I mean I was Dora. I was like, right, you know, let's add some confusion to everyone in the Discord, uh, so people get get mixed up with us. Um, but now, Owens has kindly named us in the Discord Scottish Liam and an English Liam. We've also got an American Liam, so we've got three of us. We've got three Liams. Oh lord. Yep. We've got <laughs> uh, the Sergeant Liam. You see them now. He's the English one. He is helping out in artillery because uh, they we don't. Don't think we brought free, but we asked for a gun anyway, so we're always happy to help each other out. Oh, yeah. And speaking of, so Fort Georgia, Lieutenant Fuji film is leading the Fort Georgia. We've got A and V under Live Ferric. We've got DB under Denisimo. Let's see, LFL under FAMAS. Galfe leading TB. Two core under Zio Panama. And who am I missing? Uh, another two core under Braun. HL is under TJ. And who am I missing? Uh, I think that's about it. So uh, Fuji leading on this uh, contention map. Uh, what do you? Uh, what kind of style of leadership do you think he's going to have for this uh, this map here? Um. Oh, contention map for Fuji. Um. Be honest. Uh. He's not actually seen him lead a lot, seen him lead the occasional time, but I mean, those times that he's led, he's been a, a very, he's like a in-between guy of movement and also just getting in there. Uh, you know, he, he likes to, I mean, I've seen him a couple of times that uh, he, he does when, when he sees an opportunity to get through a little gap or exploit something or either charge into the side he will take that and use it against them so uh yeah he's a very he likes to maneuver a lot as well so uh hopefully i see him maneuvering a lot around this map especially a contention nice and big space Oh, yeah, what yeah, I have yeah, to quickly yeah. mention here, excuse yeah. me, Koto. Yeah, yeah, go, go. Look at the look at the Ari positions. They are so close. They can smell last uh, last evening's food still from the camps. Like what is that? 200, 250 yards? Yeah, oh, it's definitely rifle range, absolutely, and absolutely cannon range. And in fact, we got JB Corporal Thomas on the guns. And on the infantry side, we've got Canada leading the 20th, Eddie leading the 2 USC. Um, HD led by Bruce. It's a Brados Beans. Brados Beans. Oh, okay. Then we've also got uh, 13th under Major Cawthon. You've got 4th George, 4th uh, New Jersey under Captain Victor, and it's his birthday. Everybody uh, wish uh, wish him a happy birthday in the chat. Uh, Dragon is leading 9th Corps. NYV is led by I'm not sure who. Um, I don't see an officer. AGL is leading the SP contingent. SP contingent. The uh, UEC contingent under Juicy B. Then we've got uh, 11th MS under Gordon. And I think that's everybody. I think Targary is in here too somewhere. But um, yeah, Ingo, what do you think about this? Uh, I mean, it's a tough point. Uh, how would you approach as the uh, CSA trying to attack this point? Um, to be honest, as a CSA, I wouldn't uh, try to capture it at all. 
Uh, since it's very close to Union spawn, it's right next to Union artillery. I would just meet the Union head on, try to cause casualties, basically secure the rest of the map for you, for the CSA. And the chance is very, very high that the next point will be in your favor and you already got the bed made. Yeah, I think that's not a bad strategy, to be honest with you. I, I'm trying to think of if I've ever seen this point when it's the first point be captured. I can't think of a time. I don't know if you guys have seen one on a on a uh, organized map. Uh, no, I mean, last day I led a contention. The first point was just in the middle of each other, so it was quite fair. But, uh, yeah, I would do what uh, Enko gladly said, is don't even try and cap it. Just, you know, secure the rest of that field and just shoot them out. Yep, CSA is making an attempt on their right side though, shooting at, who is the 20th Georgia and 13th Georgia here, shielding the artillery while they work oh, away no, on the CSA. No. Yep, it seems like e and V's doing rotate out the volleys there. You've got one right moving up, one right moving down, fourth is pushing up here the volley. I don't... Don't see a problem with these two doing this, you know, using that death lead and actually not just pushing them quite like that. Just shooting them down, try and cause as many casualties as you can before that point changes. No, I, I think I agree, and from what I could see on the overhead, it looks like, uh, Angle, they might be following your advice. I'm not seeing any kind of major push here. It seems more like a containment type strategy here. Um, what kind of role do you think uh, the CSA already should be focusing on right now? Counter battery, or do you think they should try to maximize unique casualties? I'd, uh, I'd say maximize infantry casualties. The CSA already, as far as I can see, has one gun. This one gun is partially endangered by the CSA group. Oh no, they, they, they got a couple AMD. guns over on the left side as well, a little bit further down. Oh, I stand corrected. Oh. But yeah, as the CSA, I would absolutely work on infantry casualties. Since, you know, yeah. you look at the at one Union position for the RD, it's kind of on a hill, the guns can be moved forward and backward, so I would focus on infantry for now. Oh, sorry about that, but I have just seen all three CSA uh, RD cannons just shoot in my V. Both Georgia was the first one, caused a lot of casualties, that's him running, but yeah, like you were saying, I, seem like, I feel like the artillery has fallen up plan and just... Try and maximize the most casualties if we can absolutely tighten the thumb screws. Yep, indeed. I kind of caught a little bit of the tail end of that. I think I saw Mr. Anton shot, uh, but just a bit from the distance. So, um, so anything you would change, or do you think both sides are kind of playing this the way it needs to be played right now? Um. I no, I'd say keep it at the moment. Union is trying to hold them off. Oh, speaking of though, them. this is this is a pretty forward attack here by the CSA. Yeah, yes, I see him for Georgia. Yeah, fourth Georgia pushing up a lot of CSA on the right here. Um, I don't know. It seems like they've wiped out one unit, but that right side as well is a yeah. very CSA. Very has entered the artillery square, but they are being countered by 20th Georgia. Yeah, uh, we've also got certain units like right, Eddie right, and 20th right. there, another unit. Uh, it's just going to be a lot of uh, getting those tickets down, pretty much. Uh, I mean, these other CSA units, like DB, HL, Second Corps, they can actually, you know... Yeah, it look, it looks like HL and DB out. are going in now as well. Um, yeah. Now, you can decap. But I, I would have waited a little bit to do it because you don't want to give the uh, the other team time to recap. No, you don't. You try and cut that thing down. But I mean, I don't. I don't see a, a problem with this. I mean, they've not lost too many casualties. They've actually kept the tickets pretty even. The only thing I've got a problem with is a down flag on the left. That's what are they doing? I'm gonna go pick it up. But uh, no. Oh, uh, looks like Snapperkins is going to grab it. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Give that man. A promotion or a medal or something. Uh, but no, I think taking out the artillery, uh, uh, artillery is uh, can be beneficial. But, uh, oh, but man, look, look at this move yeah. here by the UEC trying to cut. Oh, but they just got oh. nailed by Artie. Yeah, if the Union... Uh, yeah, it was, it was very good. I quite like that from that. Uh, now he's letting the CSA into it too. One try and focus that side. Yeah, you know. I mean, yeah now NYB and two USC's charging the other angle here. Yeah. 
Angle, what do you think about this counterattack here from the Union? Uh... I call it a tad, a tad bit desperate because uh, at some point when the threat is so imminent, it's more of like just damage control as we said in the first map. There is still a good CSA unit lodged there and otherwise the union is being a bit strung out so they're hard pressed to contain that leak. Yeah, well, it seems like the CSA have got two flags. Oh, here's... Here. Now, I'm not sure about the rules, but Zeo Panama is behind the lines. He could actually technically go and run to decap the point right now, I would, but I'm not sure if that's allowed or not. It would be technically allowed, yes. He needs to be three people, at least. Yeah, I, w I would risk it, just run there and, and try to decap it. Risk it for the biscuit. In yep, fact, that's... Uh... Seems like the Union has. That's approach. what he's doing. Oh, he is as well. I think he might have missed time. I don't think he's going to get there in time now. If he left maybe 15 seconds earlier, but you have to have it down before the timer goes. He waited just a little bit too long to start moving. So you know, it's not going to. He's there now, but two, one, no, over. No, it's it's, it's basically stopped. counted as contested. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It is. But yeah, it's HD's going to come up and hit him though. Yes, get him, boys. Proud yep. of my boys. Yeah, see, they got it. They got once they knocked yep. him off of it. That was it. Where is the next point? Oh, it seems like there is already. This, a there's already a fight down here for it. So yep. these guys, Eleventh yeah, MS, is fighting against uh, LFL and kind of an initial engagement here. LFL, I think, is going to go work to try and get that flag up. But I don't see a flag with them. Oh, no, they, they do. No, they, they flag. Flag. Yeah, they, they, they put it up. The flag bearer is the one raising it. That's why. Yeah, it's just I just couldn't see it there. I was like, oh, was this they need to shield them with their bodies now. Yep. Yep. See uh, now this now this now it's stopped. Another guy's going up. Yeah, they, I think I think you need everyone off that fence just on there trying to get that flag up. Uh, just body block them. Uh, but yeah, eleven MS then. Oh, it looks like they're kind of giving up. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but a lot of CSA units here rotating down. Uh, seems like. NYV, Corporal Oli, uh, Oli Kite's coming down to try and slow down the CSA advance to that second point. Seems like yeah. George are stopping to face them. Hope needs to get that flag up too. Yep, that's they, the most they, important They dropped thing it behind him. Flag. Oh, there they go. Oh, but here um, comes reinforcements. Here comes TJ coming in, the HL. I would have continued if I was LFL, just so close to the finish line. Yep, seems and like now um, Union is charging into a pincer. Yep. A pincer 20, that is destroying itself with LFL. Yep, 20th and 11th here on this next fence. HL is still here, doing a lot of damage. Still go see quite a lot. We've got a 13 jaws are coming in behind, might get caught out by the nice TP or some of the guys that should run straight through. Perhaps oh yeah, still. Cawthon has a nice angle here. He might be able yeah. he doesn't have a lot of troops, but uh, LFL might in intercept them here. Yep, no, you don't know, they might not have any loads. Uh he's still moving, he's not stopped, he's like, right, let's keep going. There's even more union units, we've got six New York coming in from behind C. Got the UAC condition as well, all coming in from the rear, the CSA of HL. Yeah, but it's, HL is trying to get the flag up though, at least, but yep, here comes the cutoff from the, uh, the Union's kind of cut the CSA off here. Yep. The yeah. SA, though, is about to capture a point that has just received a nice Union RD shot. And now the Union with Eddie and the second USC is coming from, from behind. Yep, I think this is where the other CSA units just need to keep going. I'm defend that point now, but I think, uh... Yeah, Fort Georgia, Fuji. Ah, Fuji! There we go, now he's going. Yep. He's moving now. Oh, you're not my friend. Get that flag! Uh, yep, that's it. Flag's starting to get decapped. Oh, the man, he got shot. Where did he get shot from? Uh, but yeah, Union, great attack there from behind. Prince for man. There we go, there comes. Second UAC, try and get that flag down, try and get it up. A lot of RD shots here from the CSA. Come in a bit short. I That's not a little bit short. Range. Yeah, a little short. So now for the CSA, they've, they've kind of lost this position. And really, if they lose this point, I think it's game over for them. Um, how would you, uh, Angle, I guess I'll start with you. How would you try to approach this attack, you think? 
I would basically do the same what the Union did on the first map. I would just consolidate the position I have and slowly start trying to flank him, to outflank him, like Sherman did with Bragg. Just moving on, moving on the flank. And we do yes, have an attack. Absolutely. We do have an attack by LFL. Looks like they've hit the uh, 88th New York pretty hard here. Yep. Dislodged a lot. Actually split off. Let's see, fourth from Jersey. They're moving in now, trying maybe clear them off. But uh, they have got them by surprise. Got a couple of kills in there. Even six New Yorks coming up now. I get that LFL. I think that'll be very beneficial if you need to get them off. Now artillery could do really, really good work here. Their traverse is right, but their fuses hit a bit too short. Yeah, it's kind of a downhill shot. So how do you, how do you kind of get into the already technical? How do you kind of approach those downhill shots? What do you have to do? Those downhill shots, you know, the the perfect piece of equipment would be a howitzer at that point, not a field gun. But um, with the observing capabilities of the officer, he should be seeing at the rocker detonating prematurely. And the order should have been given to bump the fuse up by 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 seconds. So it's just a matter of seeing how short it hits and then using your expertise and knowledge to elongate the fuse length. There's four fans charging into Eddie here, right in the middle, in that corner. Yeah, but without support, I'm not sure how well that's gonna gonna go yeah, for him. It's not gonna last long. As long as we get those flags out away, I and mean, I would focus getting that flag out of there. Ah, uh, it's gone down. Been recovered by Private Gordon Ramsay, and now he's back down. So that charge has came out not been very beneficial to the CSA but uh, I mean the CSA should just do uh, I think I'm I'm on the same boat as Angle just slowly go around the sides to keep pushing them because right now what you can do is uh, like most of them are on that fence so that's uh, very good for artillery and for the infantry to work together here. Do you think you would approach from the west or the east? Which, which way do you think you would approach? Me personally, I would co probably come from the west, like Burnside Bridge way, because uh, it's quite open, but then as soon as you get to those trees, there's some fences, kind of conceal yourself as well. If there's like no one over there, you can get over there nice and without anyone like, knowing you and then surprise them. But I mean, as you say, I think this is the point where they either wait out this clock see where the next point is or they all need to just go in together yeah, I, don't, I don't know about going down to another point because that'll basically be breaking yeah that's so, basically uh, unrecoverable at that point in my opinion i don't, mm. I don't know so uh, i think it's just i think they're trying to get send some runners to each other tell you where they're at and then all push together at a set time And Angle, how would you uh, approach this defense, though, for the Union, you think? Uh, would you change anything from what they got currently positioned, or do you think they got it? Um, I honestly wouldn't change wouldn't change much with my limited infantry knowledge. Um, the position that HD with some elements of SB and NYV is here is a good position. HD currently sending out a salient to probe the right side for eventual CSA flanks. So at the moment I wouldn't change much. I would just make ground, uh, basically hold the ground. Now for the CSA, they need to utilize their artillery. The artillery needs to be dead on to pave the way for the infantry. I mean, if the if the uh, definition would have been invented yet, creeping barrage. Yep, just cinching it forward, clearing the Hardy, you know, infantry comes in, occupies, next shot, a little bit further. Absolutely. Infantry moves forward. Advance by firing. Well, as I can see here, it seems like HL's gone on the Union right. Yeah, it's HL HD. versus HD right now in that position yep. you were talking about. Uh, but they've got, to watch, they've got to watch out in front of them as well if they keep going, that there's the UAC congestion. It's yeah. pretty good, pretty powerful, but they also have DB behind them. Yeah. 
and second call on the picket fence in that woods. We'll see what they do from yeah. this position. HL won it, but they got bloody, they got bloodied up by that HD element here. And like I said, there's a lot of elements behind them, and the clock is ticking here. And 11th MS is moving up to get another angle of fire on HL. So while HL has one just little engagement, or there's only one survivor now, um, they have prompted a response from the Union, which is, that's textbook. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much left as far as organized resistance here from the CSA. I don't, I don't know if they've... Kind of just settled in, I guess. D oh, DBs going through the corn, but yeah, by themselves. In the middle. No, no backup or anything. No, they're gonna run right into two USC and six New York here. Yeah, that's it. Pretty much going as soon as before they even get to the fence. Cover the flag. I've covered one flag. I almost shot you, Eddie. Pretty good, but I want to see West and those guys just to get one. Uh, and then you've got A and V coming through the corn as well. You've got yeah. both George and my guys just about to get into the corn, but uh, it seems like the CSA is trying to try out that far right flank there as well. Trying to maybe probe that, maybe weaken it, try and get some, uh, try and exploit that, maybe getting behind the Union. Yeah, but they got checked and it's, it's again, the running out of time I think is the issue. Yep. I wouldn't just do anything now if I was the CSA. I would hold back, basically, like they should have done when the first point changed. Consolidate the rest of the field and then capture the point and then just hold it, fortify it. Yeah, I, I think I agree. I think at this point these continued attacks are useless. You gotta try to preserve what combat power like you have left. Charging. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, too late in my opinion. Um, seems like they've run away, they've got 4th Georgia that they're running to support them. And then the CSA also attacking just that centre piece of the Union that's just crumpling those uh, uh, But I did hear my boy say kill Eddie, so I'm happy. That was very cruel of you, sir. And the point's about to change, which one it's gonna be. Yeah, so now taking losses, very close to breaking now, so Union's still on battle ready. Point is active and there's already a unit on it. Already capturing it. Now, this is a nice defensive position. You got fences all around you, you got open fields where you can observe. For the Union artillery, though, this is, this is like a birthday. They have a clear line of sight on the flagpole. Yep, like you said, it's not Union R. They need to come in some good shots here. Because this is just all open, perfect site for them. But, I mean, the CSA defense from here, Ooh, I and think here maybe the best pit, uh, maybe the best defense to maybe try and minimize uh, that Union are they hitting you is that straight picket fence along the road. Uh, just the other side of those woods, because the Union might try and go for that far left flank that is. Looks like they're already going for it. Seems 11 MS going in the far right for the Union. That's the far left for the CSA. Yeah, I would agree. And I, I also very much like the, you can take, you know, basically the Burnside Bridge Road and just take, go all the way up and around. And yep. this whole backside you can infill. And it, it, it's so much ground you have to cover. So it's, you know, it's a tough point. It's a tougher point to defend, I think, sometimes. It looks good. There's a lot of fences. You know, it's a box, but. A lot of avenues into it. In fact, oh wow, we got a direct yeah. assault already. Yep, straight into ANV, crumpling a lot of them. Lenny is taking a lot of casualties as well. HL on the left. Yeah, this guy is fucking so like, low. Like, this is... <laughs> Could not hold off that charge, but I mean, there is second core HL. On my shoulders, on my shoulders, Still a lot of forces up here. So, uh, I love it. Looks like Gorn is trying to push forward here. Yeah, at the moment, uh, the optimal work for the CSA RD would just be a lot of those shots are guesstimating. The best thing they could do is either guesstimate the shots because they're shooting for a lot of foliage, or I, what I would do, I would leave only one gun operating, but the rest of the men to pick up rifles and for the remaining gun to just do counter battery. I was going to ask if you would switch to counter battery, so I guess that answers that question. Um, now, we do have a Union attack here 
going through the CSA already. What do you guys think about this maneuver here by the Union approaching from the east? Um, I don't see it wrong. I'm going to try and get some easy t out of line tickets here. I know some scum tickets from the R day, but also opens up that far right side of the CSA. This is why I quite like contention HD, in Conquest maps. Very open, uh, especially this Good one. Like, even if it's going to take a while without any action, I would just take that longest possible route to get a right in behind them uh, if it's not covered. But um, I don't see a problem with getting some, getting some easy tickets from the artillery man. Yeah. HD uh, trying to knock off uh, poor Surflex here off of this gun. Run for your now, Union is is attempting an encirclement, which is the thing you're supposed to do. But CSA is sailing out a little bit, trying to put a little dent in that circle. It seems like DB and 4th George are holding the right side against 88th, and then the rest of them are trying to hold off the 20th Georgia and the UEC contingent that are very big unit that can do a lot of damage here to them. Yeah, um, well, wait a second, we got another Union attack here, kind of in the center. ANV is squaring off against 13th Georgia, and 8th Florida, it looks like. Yeah, it seems like that's that put away. Oh, that TB flanking. Well, they've been caught out here, but I mean... Well, it's as long as they've done some good damage, but uh, there goes a flag down as well yeah. in those woods. Yeah, well, I mean, to, to be fair, and kind of Angle's point, I mean, the, the CSA spawn is very close, so, yeah, you know. You know, it's quite close, so it's not, not a long walk. Yeah. You're playing for time, so you delay it a little bit, you know. Yep. The Union needs to keep their flags up. Their flags need to be up, otherwise... They, they are just strung out, so the CSA tactic should just be try to wipe out the flags to make the Union spawns take longer and longer and longer, which might buy them more time and give them chance to secure further advanced ground. Yep, looks like Eddie has defeated this element up in the e southeast. He's got a decent angle towards the uh, point now if he attacks down. We'll see if he can manage it. Yep, I, I saw that one. That LFL came in, tried to charge six in the rear, and then Eddie and his guys were spawning at the same time. Yeah. So. You got you got I'm HL as kind of a reserve. Actually, I think Eddie's got the best opportunity right now to decap. Yeah, he can he can move in there. I don't see any other un, if, union element that really has an option at this point. Yeah, I mean, if you can see HL moving away with the binos, that's if you can. You know, it can be a good wee opportunity to get him behind. It seems like 4th George is rotating back out to the right side. Uh, yeah, I think it's closed now. Now that 4th George is moving over there, I think that opportunity is over. Yeah. I mean, they still might be able to punch through 4th George here, but, you know. Yeah, seems like the CSAR, they've got their guns back here. Might try and get some yeah. <laughs> nice shots into the, the side of Eddie here. And sit, uh, NYV, that's a yeah. big chunk of Union right there. No, uh, it's, nice it, it took a little bit too long to get moving, to be honest with you, Eddie, and uh, the Galdi cut is leading the, the uh, 6 New York. Because yep. now you got the uh, CSAs also respawning in now. Mm -hmm. in the woods. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's the CSA all day. This is a, a in the woods. nice, a, a present. It's a Christmas gift right here. Yeah. Although, maybe HD? Maybe a uh, brute? Maybe he can swing through? HD, I think, is a little bit strung out right now. I've heard D order to fall back and reconsolidate. I mean, it's the game's yes. over now. It's, they don't. They lose this point. It's last. You know, it's basically over. <laughs> yeah. Good both. soldiers should still fight till the very end. Yeah. Seems like Falcon Jersey's on that middle snake fence now. Uh, first USS is joining them. But uh, yeah, I think. Uh, if the CSA can hold this point, I mean, that might be... Well, it'll, it'll, it'll extend more. the match a little bit. They'll get the Union down to taking losses, and we'll see where the next point is. Again, if the Union can just decap this, they basically won. Yeah. Basically, yes. So I'm, I'm CSA basically need, needs to now take no more casualties, and Union should take all the casualties. Otherwise, it is tough. 
Yeah, Union, I think, yeah, I'll be honest, um, I, I think they got a little bit too, uh, I guess they didn't want to risk it, but, you know. Now we got another point, uh, we'll see how we do on this next one. Yep, Union's already on that point, seems like they get yeah. the flag at 11 anyway. Although TJ's gonna, from HL, is gonna try to hit him. Oh yeah, he's coming in. Nothing wrong with that, just a lot of Union now. now. Yeah, yeah, Union's going to have a good opportunity to set up a defense here. Um, so now for the already, for the, uh, I mean, we talked about the CSA already. What do you think about the Union already right now? What should they be focusing on? The Union already should just be focusing on, since the Union has taken the point now, just, I actually need to check. Yeah, they need to basically just, since the point is, uh, it's almost too far away now it's good pretty good so since their side is now taken they basically have to either blind fire into the woods you know they can just uh, basically guess where friendly and enemy lines are or go counter battery because the csa artillery is starting to work again because at the moment i would i would rather split it because the actual line of contact is rather blurry yeah, it's a little tough to tell um, right now in the line of contact, but we'll see if it evolves. Two core looks like they're going to try a raid. Yeah. As we are speaking, uh, the lines are now more defined since the Union has positioned themselves on that single rail fence. So, CSA has most of their positions right now in the forest. So, if I was artillery now, I would be shelling the forest. Yeah, you've got, uh, you've got TB and HL on that snake fence. Nice, good shot for the artillery. DSA already has been wiped. Oh, yep, yep, there's that, uh, was that 2 USC up there? It was Eddie, that crazy bastard. That man thrives on blood and carnage. Yeah. You think uh, he'd be worthwhile for him just to camp it? Or do you think, uh,. He's done with Sorry, enough, just uh, raiding it. I'd, I'd say raiding it at the moment is, is the best thing. And CSA is on the disadvantage with his avenue of advance. If he could push into the forest from his side, he could essentially wipe the CSA out. So I think the raid is sufficient. I do wonder what the infantry the CSA is going to try and do here, because... I mean, personally, I would have uh, try and coordinate with all these units in these trees. They all just push it one straight for that point, try and take that picket, uh, the straight picket fence. Yes, brute uh, force right now. Yeah, brute force, outnumber them. Uh, but since Eddie's coming in, he's coming in from the right flank here, so maybe he can get some... Yeah, he's going to hit notes. HL pretty hard right here. Yeah. And also Kotel, HD is taking a wide right flank approach. Basically they are right now at the mouth of Burnside's bridge, trying to put pressure on the forest from a different angle. Ah, oh, yes he is. What do you guys think about that angle here by uh, Mr. Brute? Uh, I think it's quite good actually. I would have probably uh, done the same. Just drive on. Use the space. This is the main thing for contention and you know conquest is use the space you're given on whatever point, you know, for contention it's one solid point, so use that space, exploit it, get on their flanks, get in behind them, you know, do what you can, especially that wee small force like him, you know, use those bushes, use the far flank, use the long range, you know. Yeah. You know, like, uh, coming round here. It looks so. like they're drawing off a bigger unit too to kind of deal with them, so that's always good. I, I think the CSA is, uh, being a little bit too cautious here, because once they go to last stands, it's going to be pretty much impossible to, to catch up. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, go ahead. But no, HD done very well. Artillery, CSA artillery would need to chime in now, since the Union is clearly visible. Every shot has to be a hit now. Yeah, I think that's the only way. If you get a good RD barrage, like on this NYV line here, that might open up a uh, an avenue. Absolutely, shock and awe effect. But CSA is inching along the snake rail fence that's running 90 degrees to the point, putting pressure on the Union. Now, like I said, if Artie would chime in, 
would open up a corridor to advance for the CSA and close in on the point. It's almost as if you're trying to, like, you know, give him a little nudge. <laughs> Come on here. Oh, they shot, but it looks like they shot a little bit high. Yeah, it seems like the Zeo pan was rotating out that right side of the CSA when you try and get in that corner. L of L is pushing out left side of the forest. I think this is a uh, this is the time where the CSA just need to just use that brick force and get in there. Yeah. It's do or do our die time, yeah, it's it's in a moment you will just continually get weaker. Yep, it's it's not a it's not a winning battle at this point. No, uh, the winning battle is just getting in there and uh, trying to take that point. But uh, I mean, by the time now it's going to be late, too late for that. We're the beginning of the picket fences. Sailing the flags and tearing them down. Yeah, at the moment the sites have settled on more or less. HD's on the mouth of Burnside's bridge. Now if I was them, I would at least move up to that single rail fence because with muskets with those early mass-produced rifles, every yard matters. Oh, but CSA is now pushing. Yep, they are. This might be their last opportunity here to at least decap. Mm -hmm. But Union is pulling up reserve oh, forces. Going as well to the front. Yeah, I think they needed a little bit of already to soften this up. I think uh, yeah. without that, this this might not succeed. But they need more people to make sure the flag goes down. They don't have enough people doing that right now. Yeah, they are, I would. Uh, I'll just be sending. Oh, and there's still reserve. CSA not pushing in. That's a huge mistake. That's Elif Elif Elha had to push in. I don't know if the order didn't get uh, forwarded, but uh, that's a missed opportunity. Yep, here comes uh, TB coming in for that point. Body block this fucking that flag, point. boys. Give him everything you fucking got. Into Starting to decap here, but LFL needs to get in at this moment. No, they, they need you. Yep, there's the last stand. Yep. It's being taken down, though. Fuck those goddamn son of a bitches! What are you doing, huh? Yeah, four, four to the are coming in. Fuck you guys! God damn it! Ah, that's unfortunate. But CSA clawed their way back. They actually showed the Union that they're not gonna just give up easily. You gotta give them kudos for that. No, they yeah. they stayed in the fight the whole game, which is good. Sportsmanship. That's pretty good. But yeah, the. All the songs are pretty much sung. The CSA can just now etch themselves in the history books for having a valiant last stand. Yep. Yeah, HD um, pushing forward here on the other side. Eh? I always like to see that too. And get him, boys. Coming in behind. Uh, but yeah, C CSA now. Uh, that's it. Just get those bayonets on and just have a big thing or last charge. Yeah. yeah, beautiful move from HD, just just as we like to do, just basically closing in on him from all sides. Eh, now FL is going to get wiped out here in detail. <laughs> now, I would have wished from L of L to be a bit more proactive on this map. Things could have gone differently, but I'm not sure if it would have done much for the end result. I, I, I don't think it would have changed the end result, but it could have helped. Yeah, I mean, uh, at least in that one a, situation, you know, at least that that time, I would have liked to see them go forward with the other units. But you know, sometimes yeah. you don't see, sometimes you know, just communication. Yeah, I know it's like, uh, you know, compared to the officers' eyes down there, compared to the others, you know, up in the sky, it's uh, yeah, it's it's hard to judge too points. too harshly on them. Yeah. But he is still being hunted down. Yeah, as they're getting hunted down, any final thoughts for this map? We'll start with you, Mr. Engel. Um, pretty much a Union dominated map, in the beginning slightly Union dominated with the CSA putting a lot of pressure on that corner here by the uh, CSA, uh, by the Union already. But uh, in the end, it's just the randomness of the points and that's a thing that I always criticize in contention. The first point always should be in neutral territory. And then the skill of the individual units should matter. Now at that point, basically the randomness of the points decided who won the game. Yeah, losing that first point was a tough one. Um, then, uh, yeah, Mr. Liam, any any final? 
Um, the points are just random in contention, you know, it's, you know, it's, uh, one, it could be like, you know, in the middle and then it'll go all the way back left and then it'll go all the way that side and, uh, you know, but I, I would really like it to just to start yeah, in right neutral the position, you know, neutral position right in the middle, you know, focus on actually the plan instead of just the union be like, oh, there's the contention point now, let's just put the flag up and then just, you know, have get all along the snake fence and wait for the CSA to come. Uh, you know, I, it, like in that position, it doesn't take much skill, sorry to say, but when it's in neutral position, it's a lot more teamwork and strategy and actually skill of those units. So, like HD, like the skirmish unit, you know, going all the way down to the right, you know, actually exploiting and looking. Uh, but. I mean, off the off the start, you know, it was a uh, CSA, but right, I'm not saying pretty much doomed, but uh, that point at the start really, really killed him. But I mean, both sides still fought very well. No, they both, um, like Angle, you said earlier, the sportsmanship both stayed in the whole time. Nobody was like, ah, well, I'm done. I'm not gonna play anymore. Yeah, you know, uh, both, you know, at the end there, uh, you know, they still CSA still charged in, tried their best. So, <laughs> well, yeah. I would say as long as I've been fun. Oh yeah. I think that's a good note. Uh, again, uh, guys, check out the uh, description. I got links to both uh, Mr. Engel from uh, Hoods Division and Mr. Liam from Fourth Georgia. Thank you again, both for uh, commenting. You guys got an open invite anytime you guys want to come back. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Same again. Thanks for having me. You know, uh, Friday, but I've I've had fun with you. Oh yeah, absolutely. So uh, with that, y'all have a uh, good week, and I will see y'all next time. All right. Yeah, another one. Wrap. Yeah, man. Thanks for having us along. It, it was.